I mean, good morning. It is Sunday and today we're just gonna relax. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves. We're gonna watch Shark Tank. We're gonna cook food. Are we, Ras? Yay! Maybe? We should probably cook food today. As you probably know by now, I am a morning person and I love my mornings. I love making myself a cup of coffee, having a slow breakfast, and just taking time to like tune into myself, tune into my emotions. I like to take time to reflect. So I usually, you know, enjoy my cup of coffee either. I mean, it's usually in bed and usually I am journaling on my phone or in my little notebook at the same time. So it's the favorite part about my day, honestly. Lately, I have been doing this Skillshare class called Writing for Self-Discovery, six journaling prompts for gratitude and growth. And a lot of you guys have asked me how I actually journal, like how do I get started? And this class is such a good starting point if you're not currently journaling. Um, it has definitely made me journal more frequently and has given me topics when I've kind of felt uninspired. Other classes that I've been looking into and that I'm about to start, document your life for methods to live more intentionally. Um, also love the visual journaling, drawing your feelings by Jordan Sandler. I just want to give you these examples to show you guys that there are so many different classes on Skillshare that lets you tap into your creative side while also tapping into your emotional side, which I absolutely love. And as usual, if you use the link in my bio, you will get a free trial of a premium Skillshare membership. This is so cute. It feels like I'm in Paris. And then I look outside and I'm like, oh shit, snow. You know how I told you in the last vlog that we had like summer, no, like spring, it was so nice. Well, today came snow. It's still blue skies, but I think tomorrow, the rest of the week is gonna be shit. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm in a bathtub um, to be able to get better light for you. So. Okay, so. My base is, again, this. So this is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. And I really like this because, like, you know, it evens out the skin tone. It gives you a glow, but it doesn't, like, cover things up. So you can still see my um, hormonal pimples. And, like, you can still see, like, the skin texture, which I like. Um, I don't like covering that up. So that is some good thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and then this is the Fenty Beauty. I showed you guys it in the other video. And I honestly like I like applying it on my brush rather than um, straight to my face for some weird reason. The Maybelline eraser. Um, and I definitely need this right now because This is my other concealer, so this is from Trini London. It's super creamy, super nice. I just like to put this on my um, pimple. Just to make it a little bit re less red, but it doesn't do much, honestly. I'm like, I don't really mind it, just to cover it a little bit. And I just brush up my brows. Anastasia clear brow gel um, I know that they came out with like a brow freeze I haven't tried that one yet blush I like to just like dab it like a little bit there and a little bit there I kind of like go crazy with it it's a little uneven so then I just even it out with this and my um, lip pencil lip sheet lip sheet um, 
which color is it iconic nude from charlotte tilbury i like to just i don't always do this but sometimes it's nice and that's it i usually do it in like five minutes tops now that I did it with you guys, I talk more, so it takes a little bit longer, um, but it usually takes me like five minutes. Um, sometimes use a highlighter. I don't have one right now that I like. Um, I had one before, but it's I can't find it anymore, so I need to get a new one. I like when they're not like super, like if I'm going out or if I'm having like a dinner or something, like I want to be extra cute, I like the milk one. But um, for like an everyday look, I like just using something that will, um, make me look like glowy so usually i just use the dr barbara sturm lip balm like on my the high points of my face but i can't find that one right now so we're screwed fun and um yeah i'm trying to figure out if i have like yeah we could do this we could take this top right now so between these two um a lot of you guys recommended me these two like i said in the other video my personal opinion is that i like the stick better than the cream bronzer i feel like this like the shade suits me better i don't know I like the formula but the cream bronzer is really nice as well but i'm going going to the office Wait, can you guys see? Because I'm wearing this. So the jeans are mine. They are from Stylin. My Dior shoes I got like two years ago. Still love them. Still the best investment. Same with this one. And then the jacket is a loan from Dior. So unfortunately, it's not mine. I will not be keeping it. I wish because it's so cute. But yeah, this is today's outfit.